This is the second part of your parental medication administration. This part we're going to do landmarking so you can see actually where you would be giving the injections. Okay, the first one here that I'm going to show you is for giving a sub Q. You want to find the acromion process, which is the tip of the shoulder. You want to take and put one hand there, find the end of the elbow, put one hand there. You're dividing this upper arm into middle thirds. You'll take the middle third around towards the back where you've got more adipose tissue, fatty tissue. If you feel up here, you feel how firm the deltoid is, then feel here, it's a little bit more mushy. Okay, so you want to divide the arm into thirds, the upper part. Find the acromion process, put your hand there. Find the elbow, put your hand there. The middle third and towards the back here. Okay. Now, another place that you can actually give sub -cues would be here in the abdomen. What you want to do here is find the umbilicus, and you want to be two inches out around the umbilicus. It can be to the top, to the bottom, but you stay two inches out around the umbilicus. Do not go above the rib cage, and you don't want to go down below the pubic line. So two inches out. Now, a third place that you can actually give sub-cues is here in the leg. You've got, we call this the vastus lateris, it's the muscle that runs here. You want to find the greater trochanter, okay, which is here, and usually it's right at the crease of the, of the groin of the leg, the greater trochanter. You have trouble finding it. Get up to bend their leg up and down, and you can feel it moving. Okay? So you want to find the greater trochanter. You want to put your hand at the, he, at the uh, knee. This middle third again, I'm dividing this leg into thirds but your starting and ending point is at the knee and the greater trochanter. So the middle part here. Now, when you're doing the intradermal, the most common place that we use is here on the forearm. What you want to do with that one is put four finger breaths here, or your book says uh, hands breath, or four finger breaths here, and then three finger breaths up here at the intercubital, and you want to use the inner part, the middle third here of the forearm. When you're doing this, you want to stay away from, you can probably see the blood vessels running here, the veins, you want to stay away from those. Now, you can also use the back if you're doing allergies and things, but we don't really ever use that unless you're in an allergist office. Now, the last set of landmarking would be the intramuscular. To do the deltoid, you want to find the acromion process again. You want to take and use three finger breasts to come down. And you can feel the groove here of the deltoid muscle. It's very firm. So a chromium process, three finger breasts down below there, and then directly down where you would give your injection. When you're doing this muscle here, only inject one milliliter, never any more than one milliliter. And of course, a child or an infant, you would not be using that muscle at all. Now, the next spots that we use would be the vastus lateris. And here again, we're back to looking for the greater trochanter. You would take and put your hand there, again, where the knee is, and you would use the middle third here. The difference is, is that the angle, and we're going to talk about the angle when I actually get ready to give the injections. So greater trochanter here, the knee, and this, the beginning and ending, and you want to look for the middle third between those two. Okay, with the last one, this is the vastus lateris. With the vastus lateris, what you've got here is you want to take, and you usually have to use the opposite hand. Since I'm using my left hand, this is going to be on her right side and vice versa. Okay, I want to put not my palm, but the heel of my hand on her greater trochanter. I find it here. I'm going to point up my index finger and my thumb is going to go towards her groin. Okay, my second finger is going to go towards the back. What I'm looking for is the anterior superior iliac spine, which is where my index finger is on, and then to the back, and then I palpate for the iliac crest. My V should point straight up under her arm if I'm lined up correctly. So let me go through this one one more time. Find the greater trochanter, put the heel of your hand on the greater trochanter. Bring the thumb and the index finger to anterior towards the front. The index finger should be on the anterior superior iliac spine. My second finger should point towards the back, and when I palpate, I can feel the iliac crest right there, and my V should be pointing up under her arm, so that hopefully you've landed in the right spot. 
our hands are different sizes and our body sizes are different. So you may have to adjust up a little bit. But if you use the heel, put that on the greater trochanter, move the index finger thumb to the anterior superior iliac spine, palpate for that iliac crest, you should be in the right place. Now, most of what we do with the IMs, and you can come on. Most of what we do with the IMs, your book says you can give three to five milliliters in any muscle, with the exception of the deltoid. Um, but in clinical practice, we usually never give over three milliliters in a muscle. So anywhere from three milliliters in a muscle, IM muscle, with the exception of the deltoid, that's one milliliter. Sub-Q, we never give more than one milliliter sub-Q. And intradermal, we never give more than 0.1 milliliter.